Hi everyone, so today we're here in the kitchen and I am ma making um, beeswax ingots. And I'm doing this at home with materials that we basically already had because a beeswax mold was about um, $12 with shipping and they're not available local to me. Uh, we found these, it is a silicone ice tray and I found these at Myers for $1.99 a piece. And they're flexible. They work really well. And they are half ounce bars. And because of the silicone and being flexible, this wax comes off really easy. You don't have to use a mold release like a candle um, release. So that makes it nice and easy to keep doing. Um, I'm using my regular crock pot, but I am uh, using it with a liner. You can use the slow cooker liners. Um, I actually was out, so I used a turkey um, liner from Thanksgiving because I was coming to chew pack, so I had an extra. And I store my wax in this after I've cleaned it a couple of times. So then I can just drop the whole thing in here to melt. It's really unmanageable to have a whole clump of wax. Um, I had all this wax um, after cleaning it and processing it um, into one big chunk and I tried my drywall saw, I tried a steak knife, I tried just you know cutting it with a wedge and I couldn't break off a piece to make just a few bars. Um, so I just put the whole thing in and it worked best this way. So half ounce um, beeswax ingots made real easy. We have a food scale so you can actually get these ice cube trays just about anywhere but they are available online um, I didn't want to pay for shipping and have it be an unexpected size because there are so many different varieties available on eBay um, so after I made one tray of them I use my food scale and you zero it out and you can weigh it uh, to find out how much it costs sorry about my mess on the counter we've got lots of projects going on right now so you just keep adding them and about um, eight of these, depending on how full I filled them, turned out to be four ounces. So I just was like, well, that's half, half ounce each a piece. So a good extra little money maker on using and processing the wax. Um, a lot of people need it for making uh, chapstick, soaps, and lotions. And this is a good way to use that up. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on YouTube next time. As always, ask questions, like, and subscribe, and we'll always answer your questions the best we can. Bye-bye.